I'm going after that uh, Comet 3i Atlas. It's an interstellar comet. It's a pretty interesting comet. So what this will allow me to do is it will record faint light that is coming out of this Comet 3A Atlas. Uh, why am I going after this one? Uh, this is an interstellar comet. We only saw two interstellar comets before. One is, I believe, Comet Borisov. The other one is um, the Oumuamua. So this is the reincarnation of Oumuamua. And it's a lot more powerful, a lot more older, a lot more bigger, right? So it's giant. When we generally see any comets or asteroids, they're all coming from our own solar system, right? Whereas this one is coming outside of our solar system. That's why it is called interstellar comet. Well, based on the path, based on the trajectory that the uh, this could be coming from the bulge of the Milky Way. What that means is, it's a much older comet, older than even our sun, right? Like almost, uh, they are saying uh, it could be um, 8 billion years old, which is going to make this the oldest object that would actually, that we can actually detect and see and uh, we are in one of the arms of the Milky Way, right? So the ones in the, um, the, the comets that are coming in the middle, the asteroids, they have more water in them. They have less of metal, right? So if we see a lot of water footprint coming out of that comet, we know like it is actually, in fact, 8 billion years old and it's a really old comet. So here is what I got when I took the picture. These are one minute time frame. And if I run like a time lapse, I can zoom in. You see like bunch of satellites moving or bunch of objects moving around. I don't see any comet. So I did plate solved it like you know like a GPS. I know exactly where I am, but I don't see the comet. In fact, I see a whole bunch of these things that are coming, like almost you guys can see it. Yeah, I don't have any comet. Maybe I have to take a longer exposure. Maybe it'll show up its tail of the object, I don't know. Maybe I took a one minute, maybe if I go five minutes, I might see something. I'll try again and I'll see if I can present you all a picture of this comet, hopefully. But at this moment, what I'm seeing right now is some kind of satellites, but not any comet. So there is a professor, his name is Avi Loeb. He's from Harvard University. He's an astrophysicist. He talked about Comet O Mova Mova being an alien spacecraft. And a lot of people debunked his theory. Now he's coming back and saying that this new Comet 3i Atlas, uh, based on the trajectory, based on the speed, since it is much faster than the previous two interstellar comets, and based on how it is coming into our solar system, it's literally coming as a drop and into the middle of our solar system. And then it is coming behind the sun when it gets closer. And uh, it's brighter than usual comets. Uh, so based on all that theory, he says that we need to be open for a theories like this could be possibly coming from a, a system that could actually potentially have organic life because of some of the chemical composition on this comet does support that theory. So we need to figure it out. Uh, we don't know exactly, but if I do take a picture of this comet, I'll definitely show you. 
since I could not take the picture of this comet anyway, and I took a picture of a nebula, which is called Lagoon Nebula and Trifid. I took 26 minutes of these pictures and clouds uh, rolled in. So if you are new to this channel, I have a lot more coming on the Comet 3i.